Shut down the Tories! 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 At the moment, the population of refugees in this country is 0.18%. Less than 1% of the population. Our enemy is not our neighbour. Our enemy is not a refugee. Our enemy is those people from above that wish to seek and divide us. Let's join this demonstration in unity. Let's join this demonstration to oppose racism, Islamophobia and anti-Semitism. And let's make sure that the history of the past doesn't repeat itself. We have to stand together in unity. Solidarity. who are paying uh, exorbitant fees, £9,250 £9, a year, and they're being taught, they're being taught by people who are earning less than the annual fees that they're paying. This is an absolute scandal. Students understand that our working conditions are their learning conditions. What students want is more time with their teachers, more time with their tutors. They want admin staff that they can speak to. They do not want fancy buildings. SMT, vice chancellors, paying themselves huge salaries that are obscene. A banker, where she is a banker. But this dispute is not over. We are pressing on for a square deal for our members, and we will not stop till our members decide that this dispute is resolved and they will take the decision. And if we don't get a deal off Network Rail and the train operators, we will strike and strike again until we bring them to the table and get a deal. And the message has got to be to every politician that seeks to represent the workers of this country. You've got to sort out which side you're on in these disputes. There are no neutrals in this struggle. We need everyone who declares themselves to be a progressive to stand up and say, no more anti-trade union laws, no suppression of the workers' movement, no one is illegal. We are a united working class and we are going to win for our people. Thank you very much. Solidarity. Fuck off! Five, six, seven, eight, zero! have a new Prime Minister and a new Chancellor. I don't have high hopes of this budget coming up. What I suspect is it'll be another tax giveaway to the super rich. I suspect it will be another attack on local government and health and it won't do anything for the wages of those people that desperately need a wage rise. There is however an answer of doing things in a different way. You invest in people, you raise wages, you raise benefits. You stop the profiteering by the energy companies and take them into public ownership. And you do the same with the railway companies, with Royal Mail and those water companies that have been ripping us off for 30 years, polluting our rivers, destroying our natural environment, all on the altar of profits to distant hedge funds. It's in our hands. We can build the world we want. We can make the world a better place. We are very, very many, and they are very, very few. Thank you very much.